Hi and welcome. My name's Jamie. Good for you. You've taken a big step towards better back health and pain-free living. Our lumbar stretching device is a simple, effective, and affordable way to prevent, reduce, or even eliminate back pain entirely. Now, before we get started, a few things. If you're over 40, or if you've had neck or back surgery, or any other existing health issues, you need to talk to your doctor before you start. Also, if you're pregnant, or if you have pins, rods, or fusions in your neck or back, you should not use this product. And at any time while you're stretching, if you feel any kind of pain or dizziness, stop immediately and talk to your doctor. But for most of us, we're good to go, so why don't we get started? You'll want to start on a carpeted surface or an exercise mat for stability. You'll also want to have one or two pillows handy for some neck support. Chances are, if you're not used to exercising, you're going to need a little bit of extra support. Now, we recommend starting on the low side of our lumbar stretching device. It's clearly labeled upper back. It's a little bit of a gentler stretch, okay? So here we go. You wanna sit down with your bottom right up against the edge of the device, just like this, okay? Knees bent, and just slowly lie back. Take it nice and slow in the beginning. Knees bent all the way back. Now, if you can't go all the way back, this is where the pillows come in. Just grab a pillow, tuck it right under your neck for a little support there. Good. Now, we, our goal is to hold this pose for one minute or so. And if you find that a little bit difficult, don't worry about it. You can work up to it. When you're ready, go ahead and stretch your legs straight out. And don't hold your breath. Remember to keep breathing. Breathe in nice and deep, OK? Once you're comfortable with that, go ahead and raise your arms all the way up over your head for a full, deep stretch. And again, if this is a little difficult in the beginning, that's okay. Just leave your arms out to your sides and slowly work your way up to this position. There you go. Ah, that feels fantastic. This is hydrating your, your discs and increasing your blood flow through your entire body, through all of your organs. It's increasing your blood circulation. Good stuff. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to get up, but don't just jump up. What we're going to do is roll off of the device onto your side. Now, if you're a back pain sufferer, you probably get out of bed this way. So let's go ahead and use that technique now. Gently roll up and into a seated position. Ha, ah, how's that feel? Fantastic. You might feel a little bit lightheaded because of all that increased blood flow. So just take it easy and go slow. Great, okay, for the next step, we're going to stretch out our lower back. So we want to turn the device around like this. We're going to use the higher side of the device, which is marked lower back. Now, one note on this, if you are one of the few people that finds uh, back pain relief from bending forward rather than backward, you could have something known as encroachment syndrome or facet syndrome. You do not want to use this product if that's the case. It could aggravate your condition. If you're in doubt, check with your doctor and discuss it before you start anything. Okay, this is just like the stretch we did before, the same steps, except we're using the higher side to stretch our lower back. So scoot back with your bottom right up against the edge and just go ahead and lie back slowly, nice and slow. Oh. Keep your pillow handy. This one is a little bit more intense. And we find that the people that need this stretch the most often find it a little bit difficult to do. So use the pillow and give yourself some neck support and breathe deep. There you go. Now, once you're ready, go ahead and stretch those legs straight out. Ah, fantastic. And once you're comfortable with that, go ahead and raise those arms way up over your head. Again, this might be a little difficult in the beginning, and that's okay. If that's the case, just leave your arms out to the side, and every day work a little bit, work your way up to getting your arms over your head, okay? You want to breathe nice and deep and just relax into this stretch. Let this work its magic. Okay. And again, we want to hold this stretch for about a minute or so and work up to it in 10 to 15 second increments if you need to. All righty. Now, we're going to get up again. And just like before, I don't want you to jump up. We need to roll off to the side. Use your elbow to support you if that helps and just slowly and gently up into a seated position. There you go. If you feel a little lightheaded again, that's completely normal. There's a lot of, lot of blood flow going on now, okay? 
Once you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and we just wanna get up into a kneeling position. There you go, deep breath, and just gently roll up into a standing position. There you go, good job, congratulations. And we would like to thank Cedar McCrary of Cedar Fit Boot Camp in Albuquerque, New Mexico for use of the facilities.